Hello, everybody. This is Noah Archer here. I'm with Jake Causer here, and we're going to be calling the Lady Gators basketball game here in Port Allegheny tonight. Port Allegheny Gators will be playing the Gilton Tigers. The Gators, they're sitting at 8-3 and three and 7-0 and oh in the conference. So seven of those eight wins coming out of conference wins. Gilton sitting at 0-10, oh still looking for their first win um, in the regular season as well as the conference where they're 0-6. Oh Some stats for you for the Gators. I got Max Prep here from Max Prep. Kalia Dow leads the team with 12.9 points per game. Uh, Ella Moses sitting at 43% field goal percentage. That is the best on the team. For rebounds, we got Ella Moses leading the team with 7.4. Quite the total there, Jake. Yeah, that's a lot That's a lot of rebounds. That's a person who you really want down low whenever shots go up. Yep, absolutely. Um, leading the team with assists is Dowell. She's sitting at about two assists per game. With steals is Moses, who racks up about three per game. And then uh, highlighting the block party is Kalia Dow. Joined by members Bryn Evans and Ella Moses, all sitting at about one blocks per game. And total points, Dowell is sitting at about 142 total points on the season. And Moses is at just one point under, at 141 points on the season. So, Jake, got any predictions for this game here today? Well, it's not so much predictions. I think so far, coming into this game, Gators really have the size and definitely more physical advance here. Um, not a lot on the Gilton here. We know that they might be athletic, but coming into this game, they are definitely the underdog, though. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Gilton's still looking for their first win here, trying to trying to sniff one out against this this pretty dominant Gators team. You know, the Gators have been have been doing things right recently. Yeah, they, they've been on. I know they've been on a recent win streak, and that's really been able to help them out. But uh, we'll see if Gilton can steal one from them today. Now, now we'll go into the, uh, the national anthem. The next starting line for the Gilton Tigers. Number two, a sophomore, Deacon Brunkowski. Number three, a senior, Addison Reed. Number four, a junior, Lindley Basin.
As coming into this game, what is your predictions? Um, you know, I think uh, if the Gators are smart here, you know, they 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 have the advantage, as we talked about, um, size-wise, you know. So if they can utilize the paint, yep, you know, use that size, to utilize the paint, um, I think they definitely have a chance to run away with this one. But I am I love a good underdog story. Oh you yeah, you know, David Goliath story there. 100%. So. I think Gilton, um, if they're smart with the ball, limit your turnovers. Of course, that's always that's always what you want to do. Limit those turnovers. Always box so, out. Yep, box out. You got to do those fundamental things, and yep. you know maybe they can sneak away with a win here. Yep. Always going into the free throw line, making those all those uh -huh. small things that you can to build up to a close game. Yep, free throws are always huge. You got to be able to hit those because they're free. Yep. Everybody loves free things, right? Yep. So we'll come into the tip off here in our ladies Gators match. Gators win it. Gators win the tip off. Goes to Kaylee for a mid range shot. Goes up. Goes off. Kaylee gets her own rebound. Dribbling up. Passes over to the wing. Passes over to the corner to Jenna. Jenna dribbles. Goes back to Maddie. Goes back to Kaylee. Kaylee goes to Ella. Cuts in. Ella pat bounds. Dribbles. Three pointer for Bryn. That's off. Gets her own rebound. That's off again. Rebounded by number 24, Brielle Lehman. Basics bringing it up. Off her foot, goes up. We get a steal from Maddie Evans. Goes up for a layup. And it's good. Good for steal Gators. there. Gators first bucket here. Good steal there and they're able to turn that into two yep. on the break. Number three, Addison Regal bringing it up. Another steal by Ella Moses. See if she goes up for a layup here. That's a good bucket. Early on in this game, the Gators have used some great anticipation to yep. steal those passes there. Yep. Not even off the dribble, it's off the pass that they're getting it. So we'll see yep. if Gatlin can answer here. See here with the offense here, dribbling down. Sick. Another steal. Jenna Renner, oh, goes for it. It's on the ground, loose ball. And it will be a jump ball. Jump ball. And that will stay with the Tigers. Good work by the Gators early on here. Being for aggressive. Yep, being aggressive, you know, forcing... Gelton to make some plays, getting right up in their face. Mm -hmm. We'll see as Addison brings this out of bounds. Out to the sick. She's bringing it down the court, down the right wing. Hits a spin move, dribbles. Gives it to Lehman. Lehman gives it over to the wing. She dribbles, looks to attack. Shot goes up. Good board by Ella Moses. Ella Moses brings it up down the right lane, looks to drive, goes for a layup, and it's in. Strong finish there by Moses. That's what she's so good at, and this is the reason that she's a top scorer on this team. Yep. So now I really got to figure out something here on a 6-0 run. Brings it down the court. That's tipped. Yeah, they need a bucket here, Drake. Goes, shot goes up. Rebounded. Oh, steal back. Aggressive steal rebound back there. by Addison. Addison over. Down into Lehman. Lehman takes it back up to Addison. Addison's calling for maybe a screen here. Tries to skip pass over to the other wing. Eliza brings it up. Swings it back over to Lehman. And we got a travel, so it'll be Gators ball. We'll see here as the Gators push it up the ball, most will be taking it up. 
We got it. We got it. Pass to the wing by Jenna Runner. Looks down low for Bryn. Bounce pass down to Kaylee. Kaylee looks to attack. Good board by Addison. Addison's not going to be bringing it up here. Really got to look to get something out of here. Addison's going to be looking to get a screen. Goes to Lindley. Lindley hits a spin move. Back out to Addison. Addison goes for a shot. Good board by Maddie Evans. Maddie Evans will be bringing it up. Maddie Evans looks to attack. And we'll going to get the N1. We'll be getting a on We're the floor foul. Going to call it. Yep. Good Ga finish, though. Yep. Gators will get it underneath here. We'll see what kind of masterpiece. And you can see there as the uh, foul goes up. She she has a really great finish, though. Yeah, yeah. That's down what you like ground. to see as a coach, especially. Now we'll see what uh, Jamie Evans' masterpiece plan here. Kicks out to Kalia. Kalia drives, and we got another. I believe it's going to be offensive. We got a moving screen yep. from offensive Gators. So score 6 nothing here, just under five minutes. Galton still looking for their first bucket. They've been able to get up a couple shots here, yep. hitting the rim, but none to fall quite yet. Yep. So the sick will be bringing it down. Shot goes up, goes off the board, goes back to Lehman. We got a jump ball. That would be Gator's ball. Yeah, Evans has a long reach, so if you're trying to yep. shoot it over here, you get really got to really? get that release up yep. fast. You got to get up fast. Yep, really physical too. Mm -hmm. So Ella Moses will be bringing it down. Ella Moses passes it to the wing. To the shot fake. Goes up. It's a board. A board by Addison. Ella looks to go in for a little aggressive tack here as she bring Addison brings this up the court right now. Addison looks to enter in the high court. And we got a foul. That will be on number 10, Eliza Herbert. Gators ball. So Jenna will be giving it to Ella. Ella will be bringing it down. Really be attacking this side of the court right now. Enters it in. Kicks back out. Bryn for the three. And it's in. Three. Gators three. If I was Galen right now, I'd really try to be patient, really try to find a bucket to be able to get, really get one in. Passes to the wing. Eliza, that's tipped off. Ella goes in. Oh, goes off. Rebounded. Oh, taken in back by the Ella. Oh, and rebounded by number 10. Eliza, I got it. And that's a jump ball. That would be... That'll be Galton's ball and a sub coming in. Yeah, That'll so Moses does a good job there getting the steal. You know, she misses the layup, but then she gets the rebound off the steal again. Takes another shot, but not quite yep. able to finish there. As you see, it's, I mean, Rain was kind of in the way, yep. so. Those kind of things kinda happen, kind of hard though. shots, yeah, it's just little things, you know. Mm -hmm. Trying to dribble it down, gets, oh, on the floor. Good hustle by Maddie. That'll be Galton's ball. Gelton passes to Pasek. Pasek's dribbling down, being aggressive. Pasek's looking to get a jump. And we got a jump ball. We Gators ball. A lot of aggression seen here from uh, G Lady Gators right now. And we got some subs coming out. Um, Brandon Daniels subbing in for Bryn Evans here. And also Willow for Jenna. Yeah, a common theme for these Lady Gators all year is they've been able to create turnovers um, with their tough defense, you know. Yeah, 100%. We enter it over to the wing. Kalia dribbles in. Skip pass to Bree. Bree gets the ball, passes out to top of the top of the thing. We got here. Maddie takes in, drives, and we got a foul. Shooting for two. A skill that uh, a lot of people don't realize is the ability to draw a foul when yeah. driving into the basket. And uh, Maddie did a good job right there. And a lot of teams, you know, sometimes they just, when they go up for shots, they expect someone there sometimes. And yep. they don't really look to finish before, you know, feeling the defender. Yep. First shot goes Absolutely. in for Maddie. Her first, her first bucket. Not for her first bucket. My bad. <laughs> it's 
Obviously, second shot here. And that's in, too. That'll make good, the game 11 nothing. Throws. Regal will be bringing that up. Lehman's driving. Looking to be aggressive. Good steal by Killian. We get a foul. A lot of aggressiveness in this game, very much so. Definitely. We get his ball. We'll be seeing a play call here. Let's see what goes on. Ella's going to be bringing it down. Passes down to the wing to Willow. Willow's going to be trying to enter it in the high court. Gets taken away. Almost into Ella's hands, but just slightly off. Brings down the sick. Brings it down here. The sick looks to shoot. Passes over. Skip pass. Good hands by Brandon Daniels. Got a sub coming in here, Jake. That is. Uh, we got a sub. Emily Eric for Maddie Eric. Actually, sister. Her sister, yep. So, let's see. The sick will be coming in. Dribbling down to the left side here. Goes up for a shot. Good board by Ella. Looking to attack. I wouldn't be surprised we see a layup here. Kalia for the top of the three. Good hustle. Oh, just close. Good hustle, though. It will be Gilton's ball. Definitely good hustle there by Moses. You like to see that. out. There's a three. Back to Tanner for a three. Good hustle by number four, Lindley. And that will be a foul. We'll be going Gators way. Yeah, definitely another hustle play down at the other end yep. there. Another thing you like to see, Jake. And there's been a lot of that this game, and that's something, like, as a coach, you definitely definitely want to see that all the time is hustle. Yeah, regardless of the score, uh, you know, Galen hasn't had much luck in this one. They're down yeah. By 11, really just early have on. To, yeah, really but just to have to focus up and. Yep, to see them still hustling is something you want to see as a coach. Yep. But since after this free throw, not quite on that one. But um, since Galen has five fouls here in the first quarter, yeah. the Gators will be getting a bonus. Correct, Jake. That's something. That's something. As a team, you kind of don't really want to get to his five fouls already in the first quarter. And that second shot will be good, but we got a no shot over the line. Yeah, Jake. So you, you're playing. You're playing for the boys' team this year, Port Allegheny boys' team. Uh, yes, how has that rule that rule change kind of been? Um, how has it kind of affected you? The the foul five fouls in the um per as quarter. a team. You know, we've actually kind of done well, not with so much of turnovers and stuff. Our our problem right now is just getting them getting them shots to go in. You know, we have a low percentage. Yep. We get more shots other than the other teams. It's just, you know, ours don't fall in sometimes. Mm -hmm. We, we got to work on our contested and really our stamina, you know, our late games. Yep. We, like Cameron County, great team coming down, and you're four points away from a great team to a great win. But fourth quarter, good spin move by Ella Moses. Yep. Great finish. And Love on the other end, that. though, Galton was able to get their first bucket. They were. Maybe that's a start to a, a run here for Gilton. Comes out to Raylan. Raylan skips it back out. Goes to a Basik. Basik tries to attack the wing. Passes to Basik. Basik goes up for a shot. Off the board, Bryn gets, Bryn goes out of Bryn's hand. Goes up for another three. And that's in. Oh, that will be counted as a two. Yep. Good shot though. That is a good shot. Two possessions, four points. Yep. Coming down to maybe let's see if they try to do a one shot here. 20 seconds coming down. Willow takes it down, gives it to Ella Moses. Bryn comes up from the three-point line, swings it, to Ella, swings it to Emily. Emily gives it to Ella. Ella looks to drive. We got we to gotta carry. I mean, I from what I saw, I saw it was kind of... So Regal will be trying to take a spin There's move and gets a, try to get the shot off, but it's no good. Good defense by Ella Moses. And during this break, 
we're going to take the opportunity to um, notify the fans that there will be a game, a boys game, on Thursday here in Port Allegheny, and it will be streamed on Gator Network. So yep. uh, feel free to turn, tune into that one. Actually, we'd love for you to tune into that one. Yep. And unfortunately, I won't, I won't be up here uh, speaking. I'll be down there playing. Yep. So come watch Jake Causer throw some threes, maybe. What do you think, Jake? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm more of a big man. I don't, I don't throw too much up threes. I save that for my, I save that for my guards. I, <laughs> me and Braylon kind of just work down low and try to get our boards and give it back out to them. All right, get so our French just down low. Come see Jake Causer uh, perform some up and unders. Oh yeah. <laughs> and who's who's that one against Jake? Oh, uh, that would be Austin. Home against right. Austin. Coming out, I assume in the huddle, a lot of teams. This team will be uh, talking about trying to be uh, some smarter decisions, maybe some uh, driving. They had good shots in the wide open. I mean. Yeah, I, th I think they try to draw a little bit more fouls, get yep. these Gators in foul trouble. Yep. And galen has got to be careful, too, because they don't want to re-enter into five, and that's a good take by Kalia. Yep, strong take. Good ball movement by the Gators, create that opportunity for Dowell. Yep, and it's great. I mean, what Gators are doing, entering it into the post and being able to get a good finish, strong finish yep. out of their chances. So we'll see the sick coming up here. Tip ball from Jenna. The sick pushes it out. Goes over to Raylan, Raylan passes, and we got a foul on Kaylea. That's a push. We Galen's ball on the side here. Yeah, it's Galen here. I wouldn't try to go super fast because mm -hmm. you want to be efficient here. Yep. Only down by 11 here. If you can be efficient here, you can cut that lead in half at least yep. by halftime. Yep. And we There's got a, a good pass. pass. And just right off the backboard, Maddie Evans gets a good board. She's looking up. She's going to be coming down. She's going to be taking it and goes up for a shot. No good. Goes up back to Peyton Gordon. Goes up for a shot. Takes another good offensive boards by Gators right now. Kayla looks a shot fake. Good dribble and good she, take. She likes that move, Jake. And that's something. That's moves that she's done in the past, and she's really efficient with it, and that's a good score right there. Might even say it's her signature move. I would say. Does it a lot, and she's really and it's really good at it, so. That's why she's got that many points. She gets the bucket there. Yep, and the ball's on the ground. We'll see. Good hustle by Galton. Shot goes up. Another offensive board, but good rebound by Maddie. Maddie's going to be bringing it up here. Good pass. Ooh. Oh, Tough angle there. Yep. Just found yourself a little bit too under the backboard, but that's all right. Can't tell you how many times that I've done that. <laughs> So we'll be seeing here. Galen's going to be looking to drive, and we get a foul. First foul, shooting foul for the Gators as, she'll be, as uh, Lindley will be going to the line. Yeah, Renner went up for the ball there, but it looked like she got a little bit of the body as well. Yep. As she'll be going up for her first shot here, cutting down the lead. And it's in. 17-5. See, if you're able to, you know, create those opportunities to get to the line yep. for the Galton Tigers, you know, you can get an opportunity to. And that might be the move, you know, entering it down low and trying yep. to draw fouls, shooting fouls. Yep, be aggressive down there. Good aggressiveness from Galton. Kaylee bounces it to Maddie. Maddie for a mid-range shot. Offensive board, Kaylee puts it back up. Another, what are we going to see here? Another offensive board, Maddie skips it to Peyton. Peyton goes up for another mid-range shot. Shot goes up off the rim. Peyton gets another offensive rebound. This is great by the Gators. Kalia goes up, passes to Jenna, hands to the face. Oh, and we have That's good aggression. Tough defense. Yep. There's good hustle by Basic here. Regal will be taking it up the floor. Regal will be trying to create something out of here. Enters it down low, looks for mid range, skips it back out for the three. Just close off the rim, passes it out to Kalia. Kalia will be looking to drive here. And we draw a foul. A body goes up for the shot. I mean, that's good out of these skaters. These skaters really try to. All right, we're going to show you the foul here. Instant replay. First shot goes in for Kaylee Dow. That was a pretty good free throw shooter. I got my fingers crossed, so she's not. Oh, yeah. Got to knock on. Not going to jinx here. her here, I hope. 
Yeah, that's yeah, my bad, Kaylia. Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely on you, Noah. My but, fault, Hey, at Kaylia. least she, she got her re own rebound, though. Passes it to Jenna. We're skipping it back out. Maddie Evans. Maddie Philhart. Kaylia Dow looks to drive. Maddie for a mid-range shot. Goes up. Jenna gets good offensive reboard. Right hand. A good finish. I've noticed from previous games, Jake, Jenna Renner always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's. I mean, there's nothing to be, you know, can't complain about that, you mm -hmm. know? The screen, good aggressive screen by Rupert here. Rupert's going to be bringing the ball up, looking to enter it in the high post, but can't seem to get it. Oh, and we get it down to the down low. She goes up for the shot off the backboard. Same team going in. Peyton Gordon will be bringing it up. And that's a good take by Braylon here. Was that, that was coast to coast? That good. was coast to coast. Good work there by Gordon. On them fast breaks, really, what if I was Gail and I'd try to set up for a charge there. Yep, take a charge. They're see, taking See in. the heads down and always mm -hmm. look to take a charge as they I drive agree, in. Jake. Yep. Shot goes up. Another rebound by Jenna Runner. Jenna Runner will be taking it up the court. Kinds of feels the double team. Tries to skip it out to Kalia. Kalia gets it. And good finish by Kalia. Yeah, wait. Way to take advantage of that uh, double team yep. by Kalia Dow driving. Yeah, double from both sides uh -huh. and being able to skip it out of there. Yep, get that little floater. And we got a timeout here, full timeout. Yeah, it looks like the Gators might be um, conducting a full substitution. Yep. It looked like. I may be wrong, but that's what it looked like to me. And if they are, that I mean that's I mean that's a smart move. Getting uh, your starters off, getting a couple people more experienced in the game. You know, yep. this is a great chance to when you're up like this, get them experienced into a varsity game like this. And, yeah, and always get some fresh legs out there, you know, maybe yep. prevent injuries. Yep. Because you never know when Exhaustion. an injury might strike. Yep. yep. As we see here. We'll see him break the huddle and see what see what goes on. Yeah, once. we're We're down to about four minutes here in the second quarter. Scores twenty four to five. Port Allegheny Gators are in the lead. Gators and have two fouls. Um Gailton has one. We'll see if Gilton can attempt to climb back in this one here after this timeout. Yep. Maybe drawing up a play here. Gilton will be getting the ball down yeah. low. I think you want to try to set some screens here. Yep. Get an opportunity to drive to the basket, try to draw a foul or two. Yes. So we'll see here as Basic will be taking it up the court. So we got a screen coming down for Basic. Basic will be taking it down, and we got a foul. Yeah, that's gonna be as an off-ball foul. Yep, as the Tigers down. Great hustle by Brinkowski. It's on Moses with a push. That'll be her first. Goes out, tipped by Bryn. And that'll be staying with Galton's ball. Coming down to three minutes and 45 seconds here. Let's see what the Gilton Tigers can do right now. She drives. Good drive. Aw, oh, just off the rim. Re gets to the board. Gets back up to the Gilton Tigers. Shot goes up. Rebound by Ella Moses. Ella Moses looks to drive. And we have a foul on the ground. And a good aggression by Ella Moses to be taking that. Yeah, not a bad foul though. The, there by the gate or the Tigers. It can be smart. You know, yep. you're not in foul trouble before uh, the half. Yep. You know, Moses was going straight to the hoop. Yep, nothing stopping it there. See here as the play is drawn up. Enters into Bryn down low. Good shot. Bryn will be getting a bucket for the Lady Gators. Let's see what Regal can do. Regal will be bringing it up, gets a screen. See it for a mid-range shot. Goes up, Ella Moses looks to drive. She's got the advantage. Ooh, Ooh and a good S move by Ella smooth Moses. Smooth move there by Moses. Smooth, very smooth. Smooth criminal, as Michael Jackson oh, would yeah. say. Oh, yeah, exactly. So we'll see here. The Galton Tigers will be looking for something. Ooh, good find good, there. Good cut down low, and a steal by Emily. Way to have the hands out. And a good pass. A good finish. Yeah, that will bring it up to thirty to five for the Lady Gators. Some pretty basketball right there. The yep. pass from um, Emily to Moses. 
So we get a pass over to Regal. Enters it in, shot goes up. And a long pass out to Emily. And we'll see where it goes. They'll be staying white, white ball, and that was good hustle. Yeah, good work by the Tigers to get back Regal. on that one. Yep. We'll see here as Will takes it out of bounds. Kind of like a little run around play. We'll see here. Oh, and Bryn takes it up off the backboard and good shot. Yeah, good finish there by Evans. Seeing a lot of great finishes and a lot of smooth moves from Lady Gators right now tonight. Yeah, that's definitely been their their way of getting buckets here tonight. Yep. And she There's a good pass. Gilman will be looking to extend. And we'll see good hustle though after a shot. Some players only, you know, when they go up for a shot and they miss it, they just, you know, sometimes just run back and kind of out. But it was good hustle by her to stay in the play. Ella yep. will be skipping over to Willow. Willow enters it down low. Good pass off the board, just close. That was a good entry by Bryn Evans. We get an offensive board. Rico's for a shot, and that's in for a good mid-range shot. A lot of times you'll see players kind of hesitate when they're pretty open, but yep. Daniels did not hesitate there, took the shot. And nope, and we'll see it here too as she did not Ooh, hesitate. There you go. And that's a good shot too as Herbert will be uh, getting a good mid-range shot to help the uh, Gilton Tigers out a little bit. And we'll see as a minute's clocking down here. We'll see what the Gators decide to do. Oh, and a trip here. Good hustle. And we got an over the back court as a sub will be coming in. That will be Lehman. Braille Lehman, number 24. A good offensive board here. Lives of skips it out to Addison Asin for the three. And that's hey. a swish. Wow. That ball looked that's pretty. That's a good shot. That ball looked pretty. That was great all the way, all the way into the net. So let's see here, has 40 seconds clock down. See if we're pushing for a one final shot here. You can see some exhaustion from the Gators. Yep. Skips it over to Bryn. Good entry into the, and we got a foul. That was a good call. See if Evans is good. Coach Evans is gonna direct some traffic here. See what play we draw up here. Will it be taking it out? Enters it into Brain. We got a reach in from the back. Yep. Coach Evans always draws up some unique plays where almost they're almost kind of running sometimes swirls out there. Yeah, you know? sometimes I'd want them on our team, you know. <laughs> yeah, they, they seem to work. Rounds. Mm -hmm. So we'll be trying again. We'll see if we see the same play, and it doesn't look like the same formation. We're going to be setting screens here. We're going to be rolling. Enters back up to the top. Ella Moses, 30 seconds coming down here. Take their time. Brent Evans from the wing. Passes it back over to Willow. Eric looks to drive in off the, off the backboard. Good rebound by Herbert. The sick will be driving it up here. Under 10 seconds now. See if we can get a shot put up. You don't want to. And good hustle by Ella Moses, but. Ooh, and it will be a three seconds. Ball. Three seconds exactly, Jake. How often do you see that? You don't. And how often do you see a, a shot go in with three seconds left? Here, here she goes. Ooh. She rolls it. Good will be taking there. a dribble. There's a three. And a deep shot. And just off. That was off the bottom of the back. So we will, uh, coming into the halftime, Gators lead 34 to 10. And uh, we will be uh, taking a break. We'll be back at about two minutes. Go grab a snack, grab a drink, and we'll see you at two.
Welcome back. Welcome back to Gator Network, everybody. Uh, I'm going to take this time here to give a huge thanks and shout out to our stream team. Tonight we have Dave Barlett, Connor Valentine, Liam Hover, and Levi Howard, along with Jake Causer and Noah Archer here tonight. So a huge shout out to those guys behind the scenes that you don't get to hear, of course. And Jake, we are going into the second half here. So halftime's over, adjustments are about to be made. What do you think's coming forward here for the Tigers, for the Gators? What do they got to do? I think really for the Tigers is really kind of waiting a little bit and seeing them open looks down, letting the play develop, seeing the open looks down. You know, when they take good shots down low, they can sometimes draw fouls. And even when they shoot outside, I mean, you've seen uh, the sick hit that uh, really deep three. And that's, you know, that's really what you want to see. So we'll be seeing here as Galen Tigers will be taking it down the second half. And, I mean, that's good, like a pass like that. Yep. An offensive board. And for the Gators, I would just keep staying aggressive, you know, if you want to keep getting that lead. A shot goes up. Good defensive board by Bree. Bree passes out to Bryn. Bryn will be taking it up. Defensively for Galen, I think you got to box out a little bit better here yep. in the second half. You know they're physical, so you really just got to, you know, get a get your foot in there, box them out, mm -hmm. and get the rebounding, get it and go. Speaking of, Evans gets her own rebound and gets fouled on the way back up. So she'll be getting two at the line here. Foul is on Rigel. Mm -hmm. She's, that's her third, Jake. So two more and... She will. It's not good. I've, you know, freshman years and sophomore years, I've always been in trouble with fouls. Yeah, it's always definitely a tough thing. Yeah. Play, playing with three fouls is tough because it's like you know you're not supposed to foul, and for some reason you just find yourself yep. fouling someone. And coaches always pull you. You know, they don't want you to get that fourth and fifth. So sometimes you get down on yourself. Good steal by Alamosa. She'll be looking to go for a layup. Good left hand. Yep. Goes in. Props to the left hand by the right-hander. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, it's it could be uh, kind of down on yourself when you're a player. And yep. you get that fourth fourth foul or your coach just, you know, and sometimes maybe they don't see, like, maybe what you did or maybe it wasn't a foul and maybe it was. Yep. And that was 100% your bad. But but you know, either, either way, you got to play with those those fouls. You can't yep. really – you can't deduct any. Yep. So you got to play with them no matter what. Yep. But the best bet is never get the fouls anyways. Get your hands <laughs> off. Play smart basketball. Yep. We'll see here. Good, good aggression by Emily on the line, and that'll be, and that will be Gators' ball. Good hustle though by both teams here. G Gators lead the game here, 36 to 10. That's a 26 point differential. Yep. Yeah, but we're gonna see some, maybe some slower, faster gameplay. Emily goes up with a shot. Good defensive rebound, but we'll get a foul down the little bump in the back. Chasing her own rebound. Maybe didn't see the yeah, defender there. Good positioning there, though, by the Tigers. Yep. As um, Eric goes in to get her own rebound. Yep. Good positioning there by the Tigers to kind of kind of box foul. her out. Get between her and the ball and draw the foul. So we'll begin a swing. A shot goes up from the three. Off the rim goes the three for a rebound. Really racking up them rebounds here tonight. As she gets off a sub off the bench, Emily Eric too. Brent Evans will be looking to drive. Feels the double, kicks back out to Ella. Ella looks over to Willow. A late defender, Willow goes up for the shot. Good hustle by Ella though. Little bit of pain there, but. Well, you know. I think the wall felt that one. Yeah. <laughs> Glad it wasn't Levi down there getting hit. <laughs> The sick will be trying to look for something here. We'll see Rupert. Rupert passes over down to the corner. Corner goes up for a three, a little short rebound by Emily. Emily will be taking it up the floor here. Ella Moses will be trying to enter it down low. Swings it back over to Bree. Bree swings it over to Willow. Willow back over to Bryn. Bryn to Emily and for the three, just off the rim, but be getting a defensive board and that's that's really what you need right now is them def uh, defensive boards and being able to try to get more shots up yep and maybe it's not so much trying to come back it's more of cutting down that lead so far you kind of gotta play yeah. it by little and that will be drawing a foul 
two shots. <laughs> yeah, so Galen will find their find their way to the line here. See if they can make this two. And that's in. I mean, you've seen really great free throws tonight. I mean, other than the game tonight, free throw lines have been pretty impressive from both teams. Yeah, I agree. And that one's good too. That was, and that good was too. a pretty that was a pretty shot too. I like I like the sound of that one. Yep. Swish. Swish. The form was great. Swish. I don't get too many too many swishes. <laughs> good good steal there. Almost, almost steal. Almost steal. Good anticipation there. Yep. By the Tigers as she almost steals that one. So it'll be Gators ball here. Great hustle though by the Tigers. Definitely. You can see feeding off the aggression here. Coming out of the locker room, really trying to there's know, a, there's fight a, back. And yeah. that's another defensive steal. Doing good right now. A good pass. Shot goes up. Offensive. Defensive board goes to Ella. Ella looks to skip to Emily. Emily's find herself under the back. It tries to throw it down at the uh, defender to get it out of bounds on her. Swings it over to Ella. Ella enters it on a good bounce pass. But finds herself under the rim. She gets the defensive rebound, passes back out. This will be going to Pasik. Pasik's going to be driving down here. Pasik goes for the shot. That's no good. Yeah, for the, with the rebound. For the Tigers here, every possession counts, so every rebound counts yep. also because a possession starts with a rebound, so you got to make sure you're getting those rebounds, you know. Yep. And that's a good putback up yep. by Brent Evans. That was, I think that was a really good pass there, yeah. actually. To, to Evans, over the hoop. I like that yep. pass. I, I've, I've performed that a couple times. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, over by the uh, score table, what we used to call it back when you used to play, too, is the platoon. <laughs> platoon coming in platoon for the swap. Port Gators. So they will be subbing in some fresh people to get maybe some exhaustion out of these players and get some fresh some legs. New people. Yep. So we'll see here as Gilton brings the ball down here. Scores 40 to 12. Gators lead with three minutes and 40 seconds here. Rigo brings it down. Defense, good defense, good hands. And that'll be going out of bounds. That'll be white I, ball. I just saw Coach Evans uh, grab a ball in the corner. I think maybe he might be suiting up to play. I, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, I don't oh. know if you've seen him play, but oh, I yeah. mean, he kind of looks like a bucket from here. I ain't going to lie. Coach Evans can hoop. I know that. Oh, yeah. He knows ball. <laughs> so Matty Evans will be bringing it up. Good defense here. Sliding your feet. Staying the hands away. Good hustle. Just goes to Matty. Matty looks to swing it. Hope to Matty here. And good defense. Way, way to be in front of that offensive player. So we're going to see some directions here from Regal. And we're going to see a shot. And I mean, the Tigers are having like good shots, you know, open shots that are uh, come from great passes or maybe some boards off the shots. Yeah, I think they've done a lot better job here in the second half of yeah. creating shots. And they've gotten to the line. You know, they've gotten a couple more to fall here in the second half. And then you'll see him. Maddie goes up for a shot. Good rebound by Peyton. No one to box out. Yeah, great positioning there by yep. Peyton Gordon there. Get the rebound, go up, and get the bucket. Swings it over to Regal. Regal goes up for the shot. Woo. And it's in. Wow, second deep three from Regal. Lights out tonight. Two for two from the three-point. Passes out to Maddie. Gators will be getting the ball. Maddie, Maddie Eric will be getting it up from three. Enters it into Peyton Gordon. Good defensive hands by Gilton. Looks to run the break here. Oh, yeah. Masik is bringing it down. Mid-range shot. Will they let it be? Jenna gets the uh, defensive board. Wants the stat. <laughs> Jenna drives in. Good hands by the defense. And it's... Now you're seeing from the second half, it's like a whole new team right now. You know, you're seeing great defensive hands, great boxing out. Regal will be bringing it up, tries to pass it in, won't go. Overthrown, big Gators ball. Seeing some subs here. See, so it'll be uh, Herbert and number two, Tegan Bronkowski. 
Kayla will be bringing it back in. Kaylee drives, brings in a defender. Peyton drives too. Puts it back out to Kaylee, a feeling defender. And that'll be a jump ball. I like the aggressiveness, aggressiveness there yep. by the Tigers. So now it'll be Gators ball down low. We'll see if we'll see the runaround play. Ooh. And we will. I do like that one. I like that play, Jake. Uh, just, just a pass here. And this will go for Galden. And a good steal by Maddie Philhart. Goes back out to Kalia. Yeah, for uh, my freshman year for JV, we had a play called circle. We just line up in a circle, start running, and <laughs> kind of run break, and we all separate at the same time. Sometimes it worked, and sometimes uh, some of the players would go in the same spot. So, you know, <laughs> it's kind of 50 50 with that. But Peyton Gordon will draw the foul, and go to the foul line here, shoot two shots. Great take. Yeah, that's going to be four fouls for Rigel. Yep. Not a deep bench for Galton. No, you so don't, I you think don't have that much. I think they'll keep her in here. Yep. See if that affects the way she plays. Good offensive board. Another offensive board, but it's going to be also grabbed by the defender, and that will be a jump ball going to Galton's side. Gilton's bringing it up. Under Crossover. 10 seconds here. Yep. Safe to force a shot, and that's going to be passed out of bounds. That will be Gator's ball with somebody forgetting to stop the clock here. Yeah, yeah maybe. I don't think we maybe have Mercy. Run. I don't think we have. Do we have? Is there a running clock in? There might be. Unsure about that one. I assume so. They're not, they're not going back to it. We have to call Gene Steratore on that one. Oh, yeah. Good stunts out there in the middle by the cheerleaders. Huge shout out to our cheerleaders. On, on the squad, Jake, you want to? Captain Lily Babcock. You also have Ashlyn Blaker. You have Alexis Bennett, Jersey Gamut, another Captain Lillian Reed, and then Mila, Mila Senna, and then you have Savannah Hart. Yeah, and I think this cheerleading squad brings a lot of heart to always the basketball brings court. Brings, brings, brings that energy. energy. I love it. Oh, it's always cheering you on when you're on the free throw or if you're on defense, they're always rooting for you. And that's why it's just always fans that are always talking. And that's something you got to appreciate. So, Jake, this game coming up Thursday for the Port Allegheny boys team against Austin. What do you, what's your preview for that? What do you think? Um, really, you know, coming off a loss from Cameron County. Tough we're really game. trying to, um, just trying to get a lot of a better win streak going here. We, uh, we got five wins. I think we're seven, seven and two right now in the conference. But um, Adelaide will be uh, hosting Otto Eldred here soon and also Austin here at home. And looking forward to this awesome game. Um, really just got to, you know, we have the, the bigger men, the bigger bodies, so we got to be physical and be able to work the ball and enter it down low. But also, you know, when we start doing really good down low, you know, the defense is going to start compacting so we can dish it out to players like Nick and Jared to be able to hit them threes. Yeah, definitely. And in that Cameron County game, I mean, that game was, that game was competitive. Yep. It, it was a fun watch. I know that that first half, it was real exciting. Um, you know, obviously things well, got a little bit away in the second half, yep. which which happens. I mean, that stuff happens. And Cameron County is a good team. They're a well-coached team. Yep. And you can see, like, um, past players from them, like Hayden, who was a great athlete. Yeah, Hayden uh, Brown. Helps. Yeah, for, former players for them coaching uh, who know the game pretty well. Yep. Which is pretty cool to see, in my opinion. Yep. As now a former player. Yep. So we'll see here as... Gators will be getting the ball down low. And um, hopefully that, you know, actually it'll be Gailton. Gailton will be home. So when we play Gailton, okay. you know, they're really fast. They got, they're got they actually pretty good this year. Um, falling from bad years in the past, they've been able to bring a squad together. And 
hopefully we uh, battle it through through all four quarters. I think our main focus really is just we got to get we got to be able to stay in the game, you know, stay focused and concentrated throughout four quarters, you know. Maybe not instead of just battling for three. Yep, yep, definitely. And I think I think that that problem happens, you know, with a lot of teams that's yep. playing four quarters. You're not you know, you come out and you play two great quarters, but you got to remember that that mentality kind of has to flow past halftime into yep. those last two quarters. And you see that all through sports. You know, you'll see it at every level. You'll see teams, you know, they'll come out and they'll play really hot, but then they'll kind of settle down and they'll end up, you know, losing. And it's and it's kind of hard for our team. We have uh, no main basketball players. We have nobody that just mains basketball. You know, we got a lot of multi- A lot of athletes. A lot of multi-sport yep. athletes. So, you know, there's a lot of, in the off season. there's a lot, a lot of focus on yep. other sports that other people main, you know. So I think maybe this year we're going to really try to, you know, build chemistry and mm-hmm. build together as an offense and defense here and try to figure something out with each other because we'll be uh, losing losing some a lot of seniors. I think senior night's going to be coming up here, and we got 11 of them. It's going to be a long Ooh. night. Good steal by should pretty, Peyton Gordon here. Should be a good, finish, good bucket hand. there. Should be a pretty heartfelt moment there, 11 yep. seniors. 11 seniors. A lot of people to be missed. Definitely. Something that you've – people that you've raised up with. So Gilton will be bringing it down here. Lehman's going to be skip pass over to the sick. The sick's going to drive down, try to force a foul, goes up. Good defense. Good board by Maddie Philhart. Maddie Philhart's going to look to drive here. And we're going to get a charge. There we go. There we go. We see the charge, Jake. There it is. We're talking about that. Yep. And that's something that, you know, that's something that it's not really a coach thing that you can't be coached. It's something you got to do, you know, mentally, you know, if, I got to set up for this. I'm going to take this hit, you know? Yeah, th- you know, a coach can preach it and preach it and preach it. Yep. But really, it's all mentally in a player's yep. head. That player kind of has to be like, all right, I'm going to take this hit for my team. You know, I'm going to sacrifice yep. my body. And that's a lot of that you see for basketball is a lot of mental. Like a coach can only, you know, teach so much before a player can help. They can help each other and yeah. coach each other up, you know, because on the floor you're on your own kind of. You don't, you get a couple words from your coach, but you can only. Yeah, actually a little bit of – um history on the word coach and I believe it actually comes from stagecoach which was used to get people from one place to another yep therefore you know the coach it's able to get you from one level to another yep. another and when you're out here just like these players you know you got to be talking to each other it's just not the coach that directs everything you know you got to build that chemistry you got to build a build an offense that's able to talk with each other always on defense communicating and that's that's a main part about basketball too is always talking being able to switch off screens or being able to know where uh, your defender is at. Yeah, and I think a, a lot of it also comes from just watching the sport, you know, noticing things about the sport. I can remember when I was a kid, uh, I think LeBron James, when he was with the Heat, was playing Derrick Rose with the Bulls, and LeBron's driving in real hard, right? He's, he's about to slam one down. Yep. Derrick Rose sets up, takes takes a charge. At that time, I, I didn't know that much about basketball, so I'm like, you know, what just happened? You know, what like, Derrick Rose takes this – uh, charge from the, you know, LeBron James isn't a small dude. Yep. So, you know, that kind of put it in my mind, like, all right, I see these guys at the highest level doing this, you know, I think, you know, I need to add this to my game. Yep. And a lot of inspirations you see, and that's a, that's a foul. Gilden will be going to the line. <laughs> so we'll be seeing shots go up. Yeah, and always as a kid, you know, you start out base levels. I never played in the elementary. I've always uh, yep. joined in uh, middle school because, you know, I said, I got to stay athletic. I got to stay in fit. I got <laughs> nothing to play in the winter. So I kind of forced myself to put my mind together to play the sport of basketball, and it's all been love since. So, and that's another free throw make. Really great free throws tonight. Pass out to Willow. Willow will be bringing it up here. Passes over to Emily. Emily for a three-pointer. Goes off the rim. Willow, good hustle. Offensive board. Payton goes up for a shot. Bank is open. That's a favorable mid-range right there. I mean, she was open. Yep. Good take. Good confidence. Good shot. Now she'll be on defense here guarding Basic. Basic looks to drive to maybe force a foul. Good hands. Yeah, good defense there. I think one of the most underrated uh, skills on the basketball court is that mid-range shot. You don't see it a whole lot, especially in high school basketball. A lot of times you're just seeing players want you know maybe step back, yeah. take that three-point shot. But really, I mean, the middle range is, can be utilized so well if, if you can shoot it. Yep. And, like, 
Well, I think over the years, you know, back, back, you know, when Will Chamberlain and them played, that's all that was. You know, there was yeah. no three-point line. And I think, you know, ever since you see these players like Steph Curry who can hit lights out from the three-point, you kind of get that inspiration, yeah. want to be like them. So you always kind of like, I should shoot this three instead of driving in, taking that mid-range shot and getting kind of like an automatic. Yep. You know? I, I think he's been kind of the biggest rock star in, you know, youth youth sports because he's had such an impact yeah. in, in that stage of the game, you know, hitting those threes. it's, I mean, it's a real exciting thing, hitting a three. Yep. And then, you know, he turns around, does a little shimmy. Does always the celebration. And it's always good to hit that celebration, especially when you're on the bench, when you're him, <laughs> when you're the fans. Yeah. It's always great. The energy is always great. And especially when you're up at that level, you know, yep. that many people watching. That many, yeah, that many fans. I know. This is David Bartlett. I just wanted to break in here and uh, give a special thanks with two minutes left to Jake Causer and Noah Archer for coming out tonight and announcing the game. We also have uh, help here from Connor Valentine and Liam Hover and uh, Levi Howard. Um, so a lot of students and prior students helping out tonight. Really appreciate it. Anybody interested in volunteering, please reach out and contact us. And I'll turn it back over to you guys, Noah and Jake. Just like uh, Barla right. said, these kids, you know, instead of just going home, taking their time, maybe playing games or hanging out with friends, they, they help the school, being a part of a camera crew, which is really great, putting their hours in. And sometimes these hours can be put into jackets, you know. Yep. Really be seen and whenever th- you're a senior and you're graduated. Yeah, definitely. And I think surrounding yourself in kind of a, uh, a community sense – within the stream team, like our own stream team that we have here, you know, it, it's really something special. Yep. It's real friendly. You know, you get to really just kind of, uh, um, like, s- spread out your your experience and other things. Yep. Like, I know Connor, who's who's working a little bit of the, the um, settings in here in, in, in the computer, you know, he, he's been learning, and I, and I think that's really awesome, you know, just sp- spread out your experience, and, and, you know, maybe one day that could help you you know, with a future job, add that to your resume. Yeah, and, like, the reason why I was doing this because, like, I always, you know, I always love to talk. I always love to, you know, commentate things. It's always been, like, a fun thing to think about yeah. to do. When I was a little kid, I used to do, like, red ribbon and stuff. I was always, I always love talking. And some and I, some people, you know, I, I hope that people that don't like to talk reach out like this and do commentating, you know. Try something new. Try to be with new friends. Learn something, you know. Yep. I can remember... Um at a friend's uh, birthday party, we'd have a Madden tournament, and I would, I'd always, like, kind of commentate during the game. So that was always a lot of fun. Ooh. Uh-oh. And that... she gets back up. That was a hard fall. I could yep. hear that one up here. Strong mentality getting back up, though, and get back in the game. It was a save. That's a, sometimes that's a, the expense of hustling real yep. hard. But Sacrificing uh, your body. a lot of toughness there. Yep. From Emily Eric. You know, it's great to see players. Yep. Toughness is, is also is another thing that's not taught. Goes up for the three. <laughs> Regal looks to pass. Great hands by Madison Philhart. Will bounce back to Regal. Regal looks to pass over. Gives it back to Rupert. Rupert over to Lemert. And that's off the rim. Galen's still hustling here. That's what you yep. want to see as a coach and as a fan. Yep. And, and as a teammate. Yep. When you're down and stuff, it sometimes teams just get carried away and don't hustle for stuff. But as Gilton Tigers, There's I mean, even finishing yep. that shot, you know, uh-huh. Gilton Tigers are really good at just really hustling and really putting, no matter what what the score is, you know, being able to finish a game playing basketball as we'll come down to the final second. Gators win 52 to 20. Yeah. It, at and home. Putting up 20 points against this, I mean, this is a tough Gator defense, you know, uh, Seven and zero in the conference, eight and three team. You know they got a tough defense. So to put up twenty points in this team, um, as a team who hasn't had a whole lot of success this year, uh, props to Galton, the Galton Tigers, and a lot of respect for them here tonight. And another shout out to our camera crew again: Levi Howard, Liam Hover, Connor Valentine, um, Dave Bartlett, Dave Bartlett, No Archer, and uh, me for helping out here. Yep, Levi. Uh, Levi looks great down there with the camera as they as the players celebrate down in the camera. But it's always great to be able to have people that, you know, can work just for free and yep. the great fans coming out tonight. Um, people watching online, thank you. And hopefully you tune into Thursday's boys game as we uh, 
will be home against Galen. And if you can come out, I uh, support you to come out. I hope you come out to the game and watch. But if you uh, can't and you stay home and tune in a little bit, you don't even have to watch all of it. I, everyone would appreciate that. And yep, from Gator Wet, from Gator Network.